Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do apologize. Something happened while I was recording and it just stopped. So the first two cards you guys had out was the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles. This is for May 6th through the 12th. Uh, from your viewpoint as well as a cross watcher. All right. And the outcome. Whoa. I'll come for cancel for the week. Thank you. All right, your bottom of the deck and shared energy between you and somebody else is the Queen of Wands. Being clarified by the Knight of Cups and Queen of Pentacles, both in reverse. All right, Cancer, let's see what you guys have going on here. Okay, so um, oh, thunder just shook my house. Okay, so the Queen of Wands, having a lot of confidence, having a little courage to move forward. Um, coming out of a situation where somebody was very in and out of your life, uh, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is not wanting to contribute or nurture um, the relationship, um, no longer putting everybody else before yourself, um, standing up for more than just a one night stand, uh, you know, an in and out energy. You know that you are you know, the Queen of Wands. You are, you deserve more than that. You deserve a uh, Somebody who's going to equally contribute to the relationship. So, let's see why the Hierophant's here for you, Cancers. And the Six, thank you. And the Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Moon. Ooh. And the Seven of Swords. All right. Okay, so the bottom of your clarifying deck is taking a pause. You're in a delay. Not sure which, which, what to do. There is somebody that you are connected to here, whether it be a long-term commitment, a contract, a marriage, um, but it's it's financially draining. It's, you know, you have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here. You're almost to the end of the cycle. You are about ready to move forward from this relationship, Cancer. Um, too much burden, too much stress, uh, and nobody's contributing but you um, for the majority of you. You are really um, wanting to find some balance, wanting to get things in order, um, having the confidence within yourself to know that you can bring balance back to your life. You can bring order. Um, this is also just, you know, being very appealing. Um, you could have more than one love offer coming in for you as well. Uh, you have been patiently planting some seeds of intention, Cancers. You have... Um, two directions you can go and you have just been in this energy of I'm going to be patient I'm going to I'm not going to make any moves you know hasty moves I'm going to um, take my time work on myself and in time the path will be shown to me you're being very patient as far as which direction you're going to go um you also have the Ten of Pentacles down here as well. So once again, just emotionally draining. You could be dealing with some financial issues, um, but you're just wanting to move forward, become single, invest in yourself, invest in your future, um, find that balance again, because somebody uh, either put you in a third party situation or you put yourself there, but um, you are going to move forward and manifest um, a new beginning, a new path here because the secrets were too much. Whatever they were hiding, whatever deceit was here um, really hurt you financially and caused you to be emotionally drained, emotionally um, manipulated for some of you. 
but that new beginning isn't here. Even though you have the Ten of Pentacles, both in reverse, you're not giving this person a, a new beginning. You are moving on and moving forward away from this because there was a lot of deceit, a lot of lies, a lot of sneaking around third party situations. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but the need to go within to find which direction you want to go in to, to start creating this new beginning um, because you just can't handle this uh, betrayal any longer. You have the moon and the seven of swords. Um, neither when they are together um, is a very good thing. So, like I said, you are having the confidence and the courage to move forward. You know you are worth more than what they have been putting into the relationship. You deserve somebody who's going to give to you equally. You had this twice. Um, you need somebody who's going to give as much as you do. Uh, you could be holding off moving forward and away from this connection because of children that are involved or the fear of not having enough money. But you're just... You're so, you are just so confused right now, Cancer. Um, you know you don't want to keep um, investing in this connection. You know there's more to the story than what you're getting. You know that they're hiding more stuff, but you just don't know it yet. So, I am going to pull the other half of the partnership, whether that be the person you're leaving, a third party, whoever may come up. We will see here in a second. All right. So let's get our uh, Cancer Cross Watchers. Okay. The Three of Cups is what came out. Six of Pentacles. Four Cancer Cross Watchers. And Seven of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. The Moon. And the seven. Whoa. Okay. All right. Piece of my hair there. And the seven of swords. Okay. So, cross watchers, your energy towards uh, cancer. There was a third party situation in this marriage, in this long term commitment, in this contract. There was some sort of too many cooks are spoiling the broth energy, whether that be you. I do see cross watchers. I'm sorry, but this is your energy, um, especially if you're a Taurus. But uh, the energies can be vice versa. So, if you resonated more with the first one, just flip flop it. Uh, there's some healing that needs to be done. Um, when you begin this healing process or your person does, um, the balance is going to be restored again. Uh, it's just not time for the two of you uh, to be able to make this work. You're just emotionally drained. You want You've cried a lot of tears over what you haven't been able to create with this person or they have you. Um, but there's just a lot of sadness around not being able to make this flourish, make this grow. Um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. This is the end of a family cycle. This is the end to um, a family with children. Um, and because of secrets that were kept, there is no new beginning here. There is no second chances. Um, either you or them, whoever was the one not cheating um, is the one that has a choice to make even though they possibly know what's going on right now they're keeping a blind eye to it because they're not sure which way to go the queen of wands here you are completing a cycle with this cancer um, for a lot of you uh, this is the end of the road for this relationship so the person you're dealing with just doesn't feel the same anymore. They're emotionally drained. They're sad. There's a lot of emotional manipulation on the part, whoever's part that had the third party. And it's just really, um, it's really affected the input, the output that this relationship has been able to, to have. 
the lack of love in this relationship needs time to heal. Um, somebody's avoiding taking the time to heal because they don't want to face the heartache. It's hard for them to face the pain, to, um, to deal with what has happened here. At one point in time, this was everybody's dream come true. They're happily ever after, but there was just too much energy in this uh, situation and too much sharing of energy to allow this to come into fruition and continue to grow with uh, the seven of pentacles. If you continue to heal, you continue to plant your seeds of intention, you continue to work at yourself this will come in the upright as well as the star and divine timing will come in bringing in a soulmate for you uh cross watchers and cancers oh all right can i get one card for our cancers for the week of may 6th through the 12th finances and career Clarified by calling in your soulmate. Deception is the next card out. But how how true is this? Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they're encouraging you not to focus on love, not to focus on, you know, getting somebody back or going back to somebody or, you know, focus on your finances and career because you're getting ready to call in your soulmate. Your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations, they help bring the two of you together. But first, your finances must be stable. They must be in order. Um, you must have this emperor energy that's at the bottom of your clarifying deck along with death. So you will come into this um, financial power, this financial freedom after you go through this spiritual transformation. So get... Concentrate on your career and your finances. Continue to work on yourself and calling in that soulmate because when you invest, when you plant those seeds of intention, your your true love is going to come in and that will come in the upright for you, Cancers. So, all right, guys. I do apologize for the beginning of your video being cut off. Um, hopefully, this one worked. I will um, see you next time. I send you all love, light, and God bless.